It is Eric here from Boulder Road IO, where we design and build products in 10 days or less. Now, this is going to be a really short, quick tutorial talking about active state here. And the example that I'm using here is this mobile app where we indicate the active state based on this this blue background behind the icon of each section for the app. Now, if you have a nav bar for a desktop application, the active state indicator can change. Um, and what I found is that the easiest way for showing active state, especially if you're trying to prototype quickly, is to manually set the opacity for each scene for the active state indicator. And so what I mean by that is if we go to the master component here for the navigation on this app, um, there's three sections of the app, reports, device, and account, and they have three, the active state indicator for each is this little blue background that will light uh, up when the state is active. And so what I've done throughout the scenes here, you can see there's about six, um, is to manually set the opacity to 100 so that when you're in the report section, this active state will be manually set to 100 on the three pages of the report section here. And then if you go to the device section, you'll notice that that's manually set to opacity of 100. I actually haven't found um, a convenient, more like automated way to do it with send and receive messages or variables. Um, and especially when you're quickly prototyping, it doesn't make sense to <clears throat> keep track of, of that in depth. So this is the quickest way that I found. Um, and it's particularly because of how Protopie is built. Um, they don't allow you to use variables to communicate to communicate with uh, the scene. So if you have a variable in a component, it can only communicate with the elements in this component. <clears throat> And it makes sense from Protopie's perspective too, because if you have a component that's in multiple scenes, it's gonna get confusing to um, manage that variable as it transitions throughout multiple scenes in different states. So uh, in summary, the quickest way to show active state is manually um, and having the opacity set change from zero to 100 on whatever state you're trying to show. So if it's the active state, have these set, uh, the opacity set to 100 and change the inactive state opacity to uh, zero. And um, yeah, so I wanted to keep this quite short and show you how I manually indicate active state. And again, if you had a web application, uh, you could do the same thing. It just may be a nav bar or a sidebar where the active state indicator may be a little bit different. So thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys and gals have a wonderful day and stay tuned for the next tutorial or episode of Unsolicited Advice. Cheers, guys.